It's now up to slab level. Well, this green up, I'll take up. Absolutely spot on. There you go, as we can see, getting the cold bridge and strip in. Real job. Have we get the van back, get a mix in. Got all our gear now. Uh, I just took a bag of cement off that anyway. You know, it went off balance, but it's fine. As long as the bags haven't burst. So there you go. Close, but no cigar. Couldn't quite get it in, but it's on start. It's, uh, it's all loose, so that makes it a massive difference. So any spur will be going around the edges. There's a few holes here as well. So yeah, um, a bit later than we'd hoped, but it's just going to be a big push now. We're going to concentrate on the front brickwork and all the internal block work. So it's ready for concrete. There he goes. Great service. Right, let's get this done. Right, good Thursday morning. Thursday the 19th of October. Still no mic, so apologies for the wind. Uh, we've just had Storm Barbette pass over us overnight. Storm Barbette, whatever. We're currently on its way to Scotland. I think we've got had the worst of it now. So um, we've got off pretty lightly. Apart from everything getting soaking wet and all the frogs filled up with water. But obviously we're not using them yet. Plenty get time to get that all dried out. So that's how we, what we got to yesterday. Alex doing all the lovely face work, making a cracking job of it. I've never seen that because I've got a sledgehammer in my hand. <laughs> all that. It was nice to actually do some running straight in. Straight brickwork again. Yeah. Doesn't happen very often with all the fiddly jobs we do, and I got the block work round, so that's that's all set to the laser. That's where the door is, obviously. I've put the blocks in up to a uh, hardcore level just to give the air uh, where the door is a bit of strength. It doesn't have to be cavity there because there is no cavity. This cold bridging strip follows round into the which we've had an issue with on a job, yeah. The Berska job we did, the floor people have come back and said, um, you've got to take that polystyrene out and fill it up with sand and cement. So What's your opinion on that? That's the cold bridging strip. Should they just go over it, or should they just t dig it all out and point it up? It's completely defeating the object of putting the thing in. It's there for a reason. So, I don't know what's happening with that one. We'll, we'll have to see. So yeah, um, that's nearly a tongue on him, which is not good. So we've got all the, uh, all the, all the bits of wall we knocked down, and loads of bits of concrete and bricks and stuff over there, so that's going to get spread over, smashed up. And then we'll get the clean hardcore over the top. And uh, I think the rain stopped for the day. And if it does clear up a bit better, we're going to get this brickwork finished. We've got uh, two quarters of the face brick on top of here. And we've got the whole side to do on that side. We're not here tomorrow. We're off all weekend because Alex is at Comic Con at Liverpool. And back here Monday, hopefully, you can get, finish the prep and get the concrete in. So, uh, Back to the old time lapse.
okay pick your own playlist is 10 past nine right yeah we're having an early break because we're, we're through the first two ton thanks to alex i know it looks a bit weird using tubs but it's too far to throw it and it's not far enough for a wheelbarrow and it's high up so it's it's, it's hard for alex because i'm just doing the spading but um we're getting there bit by bit we've put a layer in alex has gone around and whacked it all the trench part and now we're building up now we've got to come up roughly 20 mil above that but that bottom bed of that block so we've got 200 showing no actually slightly lower than that because we've got sand blinder to go in so that's good news so two down two to go we've ordered another ton stuart um fields at bursco he said it'd be this afternoon we're going to try and get it chuck it on one of the wagons earlier if he can and we might just about get it to here because the wagon won't get on the um, on the verge today because it's so wet because we've had that much rain overnight so um at a push we can always put it in the back of the van but then we're borrowing it then this this is ideal if we can get it here uh, that's another thing if you're getting stone in bags if you've got somewhere a hard standing like this to put it on split the bags and put it loose because then all you're doing like that so much easier than digging into a bag and um, get one of these like we were told to I think pay about 20 quid from berries for this and it saves you back no bending whatsoever stood up straight and it's it's not for digging it's just purely for shoveling which comes perfect and um, yeah people don't like you slashing the bags but it's all about your health and your back and your arms not about a couple of bags that you've got loads of anyway so people who don't like the bags being slashed we're sorry but what do you do with them it's not like they're any, of any use anymore I'm waffling again so anyway we're gonna have a quick break and we'll get the other two chin after, two twenty after a break catch you in a bit right <coughs> the second second two ton we we had an extended break because of the rain yeah we're just dodging the rain there's, there's no rush today we're just zoning up today I think if you've not said already the plan we're going to do is just get the stone in today because with it raining all weekend probably it's just going to get washed up and Friday's forecast bad yeah. tomorrow so when we come back and it's dry we can then blind it visqueen it and get it concreted in the afternoon yeah that's the plan get here early finish the prep get the concrete on late so right let's get cracking turning into a bit of a farce this as you can see four ton gone and we're nowhere near we're six inch off down there probably about three inches off this end and then a big dip in the middle so um we, we had another ton coming anyway so i've just rung up stuart fairwoods and uh, the wagon's in the yard so he's going to try and get both both of them on now so um they're going to get delivered and and dropped here otherwise we'd have been picking them up picking one up in the van and then wheelbarrowing planks and it would have took us twice as long so Stuart forwards at Bersco saving our ass again so we're going to be a lot closer now and we're, we're still going to be shy on the stone but we can make that up with the that we, we ordered a full ton of uh, building sand anyway so we can make it up with that and at, at, a, at an absolute push we can just put put the extra concrete in at the end of the day we're going to hit that level whatever we whatever we do so uh, weather's clearing up a bit hopefully so maybe get the brick working later but we're still going to get this other two done yet so um, we're probably going to get it dropped here because the wagon can't get onto the grass verge now because it's wet i think i've already said that if i've already said that i'll edit it out so yeah that is four ton that's unbelievable that. well it's not four ton is it it's 
17 3400 kilos so three and a half ton really in it because it's not it's not a full ton in a bag that's the other thing if you get a grab wagon you get a full ton so you pay a bit less and you get an, an, a, a full ton these these bulk bags are not a ton just so you know right early dinner see you in a bit the reverse lamb you can eat is our first wagon driver he's the Mughal driver he's just uh He's, he's tried on the grass but he's not having it so he's going to move on, over onto the road so we're gonna it's gonna be hard but we'll, we'll manage so in a minute it's gonna be coming over there and we're gonna get it cut Six ton. six ton and it feels like I moved six ton as well all that I spade Alex moved it all sorry about the wind again as I keep saying the mics are off for repair so we just need to level this get it nice and flat spend 10 minutes with the whacker on top of it and then we'll make it up with blinding hmm? we'll make it up with blinding or we might just have to put a slightly thicker slab in yeah which is what it is isn't it yeah I bet, I bet there'd be another one and a half ton need to go in this at least. Because mm. like that, that's where we want to be with the stone, so yeah. just make it up with concrete. Yeah, just need to use your eye that and get it nice and flat now. Yeah. So yeah, as I say, level it out, whacker it and then see where we, see where we are from there. I'll weigh up what, what, how much the concrete will be and how much it will be to get more stone. I don't think it will work out.
we have a battle plan. Customers come back and just uh, fed us the power. Um, we just nipped home, grabbed a bit, a bit of stuff, and now we're ready to get this brickwork finished. I've got three courses left, as I, as I said, so all their uh, face work for me. And I just need to get some face work over there for Dad, and bricks seem to have dried out a little bit. And there you go, and then I think you're just going to get the setup for covering up these doors, so when the concrete does come, it's not going to splash all over the nice doors. There you go, um, time is 3 o'clock now I think, so we'll just yeah, round up to 3 o'clock. So, let's get this done as quick as we can, shall we? There you go, after the heavens so kindly opened up for us twice and everything got piss wet through, we've uh, we've done it. It said it wasn't going to rain, and of course, we get two awful spells. We're drenched, every, sing every single brick is drenched. There you go, that's how much it rained for you. Every single brick, and then I had to take off all that part because it was just absolutely ruined. So thanks, weather app, you you're full of shit. But uh, on the plus side, we've uh, actually got the brickwork finished. So now Monday, it's just prep. Book for three. Box for three. Yeah. We'll need to uh, pack the spazzle. Pack the spazzle for the sand. Yeah, pack everything, everything but that. Cut off the insulation so the Yeah, Dad's cut off all that so it's easier for access. So we will catch you Monday. Where hopefully it won't rain. Yeah. Right, happy Monday the what? 20? 23rd. Yeah. Uh, We've been off since Thursday, we went to um, 
We had Friday off because of Storm Bob Barbette. We weren't too bad, we just got rained off all day. Did we? Priced a load of jobs. Oh yeah. Little repair job, priced four jobs I think. We've already got one of them ready to start. So we're back on this job. Concrete's ordered for three. Uh, forgot the camera. But I, I'm, going, I'm nipping off in a minute so I'll pick up the camera because we're not far. We're a bit rusty. Mm. Uh, but, but I actually filmed it yesterday so we're going to see how that goes and put, put it up see if anyone watches it. It's not a bricklaying video but it's what uh, what bricklayers do at the weekend. Or well, this uh, bricklayer anyway. Not to toot me on home but I, I, I look a bit better as Kylo than I've done in the past. So. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he was dressed as Kylo Ren and it was excellent, very very popular. So yeah, um, we've, Alex has nearly got through the sand now. So we're going to level that off, see where we're at. As long as we've got a maximum 130 mil slab, we're okay. If it's any deeper, we're going to have to pick up a few extra bags of sand just to just to bring it up a little bit. But yeah, that's six ton in there. It feels like it went nowhere. Yeah, stressful day that. But um, Stu came through. I went down to see him and said thanks. Managed to go as an extra two ton at very short notice. So this is all whackered obviously. It's been raining all weekend, so it's been solid. Because it's so deep, the rain's gone right through it. And yeah, we're going to get this in, level it off. I'm going to go off and pick up a couple of boards up for the concrete lads to get across the grass verge between the road and the garden over there. And um, pick the camera up. And then we can crack on with getting this slab prepped and get it concreted at three o'clock or sooner hopefully. We'll catch you in a bit. Right, we're back back on the camera now that was the last thing was on the phone as you can see this sand is absolutely soaked but the van was dry yeah the van was bone dry and obviously this this stuff's been sat in storm far better it's called all weekend so it's soaked obviously the top bit's a bit better but the bottom's going to be absolutely sodden which is not ideal but at least it's going to compact hard so project uh, update is it's just after 10 we're spinning up these boards so we can make a bit of a ramp in for the lads of the concrete. Not ideal, but better than bumping up and down and going through the mud. So it's straight through. So Alex is going to top that up and get it levelled out. And I'm going to get that lot cut up. Well, I'm going to start with the cold bridging strip, which is the top piece there. And uh, I've brought some spare stuff in the ga our lock up, which is uh, Sarah's garage, which is where we've been. So um, this is all going on to here, and I'm going to get it chopped up. So while I'm doing that, I'll just get that done, because we've, we've lost a whole hour now, so we need to make that up. So we're going to do two separate jobs and try and pull things back a bit. So I'll stick you on here, and then we'll crack on.
there you go, as we can see, getting the culprit and strip him in the right place. Yes. And um got our first cuts in, Dad did them while I was barrowing this hand in. Um Yeah, we'll get the rest of this cold bridging strip in and then we will have a quick dinner and get this blasted blasted in as quick as we can. They do at half three. So it gives us a few it gives us at least three hours. Do the half of the sand, it? Yeah, I can get you Get your space full. There you go. I'll uh, set you back up and you can watch the uh, the, the in installationification process. Installation. There you go. Installation, installation. At least he asked. He must have just steal it. Huh. Right, this one needs lifting up. You get this piece of insulation in there. This piece here.
we're on 10 to 2. We've got a, got a few hours, or a few hours, we've got a little over an hour. Uh, so what we're doing now, before we get the last layer of this screen down, is getting the door covered up, because that's a nice new door. We don't want to get that covered in concrete and other crap. It's, it's been, um, yeah, so that's uh, got that one taped up, and then we taped up around the glass so we don't mess with the paint. And then we're just nailing into the insulation, the rendering. There you go. That should protect uh, that door from any splashes. If any go up there, I'll be I'll be impressed more than anything. But yeah, um, that finished up. This laid out and taped off and cornered nicely, and then we're ready for concrete. We're ready. All this greened up, all taped up. Absolutely spot on. Just pulled up, not sure what time it is. Time is it out? Yeah, it's 20 to 3. Is it? Alright, cool. So they've got here a bit earlier. We're gonna get away a bit earlier, so happy days. So <laughs> let's get this two cube in and see how it goes. I see what you mean. You're going to dip the camera in the concrete. You know, you're supposed to have a big pile like that, but I put it in on purpose. Right, back to the.
once a uh, half finished barren wasteland of a, of a foundation it's now up to slab level it, uh, I'd be lying if I said it was easy <laughs> we've uh, had a few moments I've had a, quite a few moments where uh, we felt like chucking some things but we got there in the end even despite that horrible rain spell the other, the other day managed to sort out those horrible stains that were left over with the acid but uh, yeah it looks good now it's in obviously you saw what it looked like at the beginning all flooded all green um, none of this was none of this was exposed so yeah there's, there's some garden then there's a slab now there you go um, from this point on we're not really sure what happens we may do the rest of it we may not we'll have to see what the customer wants but um that's just it so there you go thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel you want to see more hit subscribe and tap on that bell that way you'll always be notified when we upload that's always a massive help and any extra support you wish to give for the channel there's the super thanks option under the under the video and in the link is dad's paypal for any other support which isn't necessary but greatly appreciated all helpful for uh his um, sick fund while well, he's had his hip done. <laughs> this is this. Yeah, this has been Bricklaying with Stephen Alex with a brand new slab, and we'll see you in the next one.